This is Ohio State's second drive of the second half, well, almost in the middle of the third quarter. And now Urban Meyer is going to establish his power run from the power spread. He's going to establish the thing he's always wanted to establish his whole life. And when he came to Ohio State, I mean, you know, he went to a power spread ahead of the times. I mean, he was one of the kind of original guys in the beginning. Uh, but he was always in thought of himself, and I, I think he's said this many times, that his teams were power-based, power-run-based. He, I remember him saying one time, you know, when he came to Ohio State, he's not much different than Woody Hayes in that aspect. They just do it from the spread, you know. And um, he always calls himself an offensive line-based team. And, I mean, this year, because Ohio State probably has the best throwing quarterback of all time in, in their history, um, he, they've been passing it a lot more, which makes sense in a way, but... They, they were losing balance and getting away from the identity that Urban's always established, both at Florida, well, even before that, at Bowling Green, whatever, but it, definitely at Ohio State. And he always says he's an O-line based team. So, you know, it's not surprising that the MVP of this game was the offensive line. He gave it to the whole offensive line. Now, what's interesting here is you're going to watch the offensive line come off. I mean, the thing that he said that they worked hard on was pad level and technique uh, throughout the week, both with the running backs and the offensive line. Mainly, I'm going to focus on the offensive line. Our running backs are fine. They're, they're excellent. They're really talented. I mean, I think the offensive line, and because this is what Urban tries to base everything on, it was really important that this happened uh, this week. And they're lucky they had the right team to do it against. I mean, nothing against Nebraska, but they're still getting used to Scott Frost's schemes. They're making a lot of mistakes. They're young. They're... Um, and they're frankly not as talented as us. And I think they're going to get more talented definitely as Frost is there. But for now, I mean, they're kind of a good team to do this against. But anyway, uh, in the beginning of the game, the first drive we tried this. I'm going to go back to one of those plays and show you the difference. A lot of what's happening right now, everybody may... And this is, where, by the way, where the pistol jumbo package came out. And everybody's talking about now we're running the pistol. But it's not just the pistol. It's a, it's a jumbo package with three tight ends. And this is the one thing that I will admit is like the pro style, but not anything old pro style, the pro PS style, the pro power spread style that the NFL is running now and has been running the last two years. You know, this isn't line up with two running backs, three tight ends or wishbone. This is, you know, you're doing spread a lot of the game, passing spread, power spread, and then you line up with three tight ends at different points and try to pound the ball, but a lot of times from the shotgun or read option. So, I mean, yes, yeah, pro power spread. And yes, at this point, Ohio State starts to get to this. But the, and it's a smart move, by the way. I love it that Urban's doing this. I mean, at this point, let's start to establish something and pound it. And we're still behind at this point, but not for long. Anyway, the big thing here is Nebraska's defense is coming down big time. Um, they were playing with much more energy in the beginning of the game. Uh, high emotions, very fired up to play us, Men mentally very prepared, great schemes and great motivation from their coaching staff, uh, and physically we're feeling really good because it was the beginning of the game. Now the bigger talent, you know, and plus power spread, this is what power spread does, it's part of the power of it. A lot of plays, no huddle, you're pounding on guys, if you have more talent it starts to wear them down. I mean, but a lot of the wear down here is mentally and it's going to start to become emotional because and sure, it's physical, too, because they're not as talented, or, but it, it's, it's, they were so fired up in the beginning of the game. So they're coming down at this point, and we're taking advantage of it. Anyway, let me let this run. And you can see, like, right there, just, I mean, I, I, that was kind of a quick thing, but we'll see more of it. Just watch the line. It's getting blown out now. Our pad le Yes, our pad levels are low. That's a nice, and look at that. We're still mixing it. That was a little read option, you know. Pass. I mean, fake, whatever, pass. Look at another pass, but this time he runs. So that's one run, two passes. So we actually spread the ball to, to, for the power. I mean, we were, it was power spread all the way. Now this, they stopped. So, you know, in the beginning, I can just show you that they're running more of a, you know, again, that 3-4 hybrid, cover two, whatever, cover three. There's no, you know, there's nothing, there's no, how many men in the box right here? Maybe seven, maybe because we're tight, because, but number 13 at the top of the screen, it's only because we're tight formation. This guy right here is almost a seven man, but it's a six man box mainly. And we were able to power. Now another six man box, but we pass it. Okay, so we're keeping them open. That was press coverage, fine, whatever. Um, 
but now they're getting ready for it more. Okay, here they come on a blitz. Now Haskins, now we're catching it. They're a little slower. Nebraska's a little slower right now. This isn't quite, now this is where it is. Nebraska is now getting ready because we just, you know, we're starting to run the ball more and whatever. They jump up on this outside run here. And we've been doing a lot of sweeps, by the way. We were doing a lot of run sweeps to open up the middle. They jumped all over it. This is pure talent. This is just talent. I mean, Nebraska read this. They were there. There was nothing scheme wide. They, they, they had us on the scheme. Uh, Weber is just great. I mean, for, they don't have a running back like this. And there we go. I mean, this is just, <laughs> just have fun watching it, you know. Good blocking, though. Everybody in there is involved. And, and that, I will say this. I don't know what Meyer said to them in the second, in the halftime or what the coaching staff said, but we came out with more attitude in the second half. I, it looks like to me, anyway. Um, here, this is, look at the pad levels here. You can, it's a great pause right here. Um, we're, th th again, now, you know, and we're wearing them down. I mean, they're already wearing, wearing down. So we get in there. Oh, Weber again. Or who, oh, it's just great moves. He, he fumbled. I, we got it back or whatever. I don't know what happened. There was a flag on. Plus, Nebraska's getting a flag now. And I'm not even sure. They weren't showing the time clock a lot. So I don't know if uh, we were doing, how much tempo we were doing. But anyway. But here's another, here's another spot. Okay, here we go. Now we, there we go. Little fake, little whatever, throw it out to the tight end, the flare, get it out quick. This is power spread. <laughs> you can't just run up the gut the whole time. You're doing passes out wide, runs wide. Okay, and here we go to the jumbo package. But you know, you're doing stuff to open up the gut. You're doing stuff to open up the power, power spread. Um, and now it's really working because the team's wearing down and we're running a lot of plays and all that. Um, now, here's what you could call pro PS. If you really want to try to say pro style, obviously not pro style from even a couple years ago, but nowadays pro PS, um, and it's not even that. It, it's more like just power spread still. Because it's, it very much looks like a Dana Holgerson PSAR. Maybe it's like a pro PSAR. I don't really, because everybody is in tight. We have three tight ends, um, one, two, three, a receiver, but it's this is like this is like Urban Myers. This is nothing that you really see a lot. I don't see this in the NFL, to be honest. This kind of thing, it's like a little wishbone too. It's really cool, actually. I love it. Um, but it's we will call it a pistol, but it's like a wishbone pistol, I guess. And we could even get these guys involved or get some bigger guys who can run the ball in there. I don't know. You, there's all kinds of things you can do out of this. But right now, Urban Myers' idea is to establish the run. Now, now watch this defense by Nebraska. Uh, they're not coming off the ball anymore. Check this out. Look at that. We're just blowing them out at this point. They're just, we're blowing them around. And they're piled up now because we're piled up. So they're piled up in the middle too. And then here, they, this one, we just totally blow them around. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, one guy had a guy, an arm in a guy's face and was just pushing him with his arm. I mean, Nebraska's wearing down. Look at this, up at the top of the screen, right there. Look at that. Just put, just get out of the way, dude. Get out of the way. We're moving in here. Boom, boom, boom. This is just, that's power football. But it only, it would, did, now, that did not happen in the beginning of the game. Let me see if I can find that quick. I'm going to go back to the, it was a fourth and one. The first drive of the game, we just tried to do that stuff, and not, it didn't work. They were... In a, and they weren't even in the bear, like I said repeatedly. They were just um, doing a 3-4 hybrid. Six men in the box, maybe seven. And it was enough to um, stop us. They were stopping us with six men, uh, seven men in the box. That was it. Um, but, uh, but we just kept trying to power it on the first drive. We tried to come out doing that. It wasn't so... This is it. And by the way... Haskins also, we're st this is still so much power spread because look, right here, Haskins is going to hand the ball off and take off to his left, to his right, or left or whatever. And he did that in the other ones. I didn't point that out. But, you know, it's the threat of pass. It's still the threat of pass or run from the quarterback. But anyway, check this out. Look at Nebraska's. Try to watch Nebraska's defense. And our pad levels are still good. But check this out. We came out. But look at that defense. I mean, the... I don't know if anybody else can see it. I, I mean, I see a whole lot more energy. <laughs> I mean, that, that defense was like, this is, you know, we're going to kick, we're going to get this team. Boom. 
Bam! Look at that, 22. Look at 90 jumping in. Look at them jumping around. Uh, yeah, like three times the energy on that. So again, you know, we they were wearing down by the second half. So it was a good idea to do this. But, you know, you don't start, you can't just start out doing this. Fourth and one, we got stuff. They weren't even following Haskins on that. They were so far up. That would have been awesome if Haskins had just faked that. Um, yeah, that would have been a great QB run right there. There he goes. Boom, you know. But, but you know, it's easy to say after the fact. But anyway, so, yeah. Um, you know, we did power it finally. To say we came out running power football and foot, you know, pro style and that is even that it's not really pro style scheme. That, that's not even pro PS exactly. I've not seen an NFL team with that exact kind of scheme. Um, it's very, it's a good scheme. It's, it's just power spread, but on the power side. But it's cool.